Greetings once again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, before we start our sermon for today, let us have a word of prayer. Our God in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for such a beautiful and wonderful day. We thank you, Lord, for being with us as we woke up. We thank you, Lord, for the breath of life. Lord, as we're about to share the word, Lord, as I'm about to share the word, I invite the Holy Spirit, Lord, to come and speak through me, Lord, and may I not speak from my own mind, may I not speak, Lord, from my own thoughts, but may you speak through me, Lord, and may the message be heard to the other person, Lord, so that they may face towards you, Lord, and focus mainly on you, Lord. This I pray in the wonderful name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Today we're going to be reading from the book of um, Exodus chapter 4, verse 21. Exodus chapter 4, verse 21. And it reads as follows. And the Lord said unto Moses, When thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thine hand. But I will harden his heart, that he shall not let the people go. Now let's jump to um, chapter 5. Chapter 5 of Exodus. Let us jump to chapter 5 of Exodus and see what the Lord is saying. Now we're seeing that um, now Moses and Aaron have gone to, to, to Egypt and they've gone to tell Pharaoh the message that God has told them in Exodus chapter 21. Now let us go to uh, Exodus chapter 5 and see what Pharaoh says about hearing this message. Let us also keep in mind that God has told Moses that I am going to harden Pharaoh's heart beforehand, before Moses even goes. So as Moses is going to Egypt, as Moses is going to, to, to see Pharaoh, he already knows that the Lord has said, I am going to harden the, the, the heart of Pharaoh so that he might not let the people go. Let us now go to... um chapter 5 of Exodus chapter 5 and it reads as follows and afterwards Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh thus says the Lord God of Israel let my people go that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness verse 2 and Pharaoh said who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. Verse 3, And they said, The God of the Hebrews hath met with us. Let us go. We pray thee, three days journey into the desert, and sacrifice unto the Lord our God, lest he fall upon us with his pestilence or with the sword. Verse 4, And the king of Egypt said unto them, Wherefore do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people from their works Get you under your burdens. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land now are many, and ye make them rest from their burdens. And Pharaoh commanded the same day the taskmaster's people and their officers, saying, Ye shall no more give the people straw to, to make brick, as heretofore. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. And the tale of the bricks, verse 8, which they did make heretofore, ye shall lay upon them. Ye shall not diminish aught thereof, for they be idle. Therefore they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Let there be more work laid upon the man, verse 9, that they may labor therein, and let them not regard vain words. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Um, today I just want to come with a word of encouragement. Today our main uh, our focus is on the word of encouragement. We see that um, if we go back and we see that Moses, having never spoken to God, God says to Moses, Moses, I want you to go and take my people out of the land of, of bondage. I want you to go to, into Egypt and take them out from there. For they cry unto me and I've heard their cry. Now Moses, as he goes there, he already remember we've, we've read in Exodus chapter 4 verse 21 that God is going to harden the heart of Pharaoh. So as Moses goes there, he goes, he speaks to, to Pharaoh and he says, The Lord says, I should take these people out of here for they do not belong here. The Lord said, let my people go. And Pharaoh says, 
God? Who is God? Um, I don't know this God that you are talking about. Remember, Egypt was an uh, uh, was a foreign land to the Israelites. Egypt was a place where idols were being worshipped. So uh, for Pharaoh to say, I do not know this God that you are talking about. He is meaning it with, 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 with surety because Egypt was a land that was uh, uh, that used to worship idols and other gods and other small gods of that were made by man. And now Moses says, no, 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 no. I come to you and the Hebrew, uh, the God of the Hebrews is the one that is sending me. The God of the Israelites is the one that is sending me. And Pharaoh says, no, my friend, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't even know this God that you're talking about. So therefore, because you have come to insult me in my kingdom, in the kingdom of Egypt, because you have come to insult me, this is what I'm going to do. Not only am I going to add their work, Remember now the Israelites were being given straw to make the bricks and everything. But now Pharaoh says, now, and he commands his task officers and he says, no, no, no. These people, they want to go and sacrifice unto their Lord. That means they have time. They have all this idle time to th be thinking about all these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more work for them so that they may labor in vain, so that they don't even have time to be idle and to be thinking about going to, 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 to worship their God and to sacrifice unto their God. So Pharaoh then commands his task officers and says, task officers, you know what? Put more work on them. The 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 the, the work uh, the straw that they were they were getting from us. Now they must actually go and fetch it for themselves. Once they have fetched it for themselves, then they come and make more bricks for us. Actually, the bricks that they were making were not enough. Let's actually double the bricks that they were making. Mind you, the bricks that they were making, they're saying they were not enough. Now they have to go and fetch the straw on top of that. And now this is the task. Um, that uh that pharaoh puts on the israelites and the israelites are now in pain they're now wondering what is this that is before us what is this that has befallen us what is what is going on we thought our crying to the lord to hear our prayer we didn't ask for more work to be added unto us we didn't ask uh, uh for 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 pharaoh to harden his heart but remember in chapter 21 God says Moses as you go there I am going to harden the heart of Pharaoh so that he does not let my people go and God does not do this in 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 in, in, in um in, in, by being despiteful or or by being a uh, a uh, 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 cruel God does this so that his work or his hand can be seen or his glory can be seen and Pharaoh does not know this that God is going to bring plagues upon him. God is going to bring, uh, 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 is going to, at the, at the end of the day, God that is said, I'm going to take these people out. God is going to stick to his word. Pharaoh does not know that God is not a man that he should lie. Pharaoh does not know this. So he hardened his heart and he keeps on adding more work unto the Israelites. And today, I just want to say to you today, um, as you are going in this walk of life, as God has called you to walk in his path, as God has called you to walk in his righteous path, as God has called you out of the land of bondage, as God has called you out of the land of your afflictions, as God has called you from where you were, God has said there are people that is going to harden their hearts. So do not lose hope. Do not lose courage. For God is going to show his glory. God is going to show how powerful and mighty he is. So you might be in a situation whereby you're thinking, God, I am now following your ways. God, I am now doing things that you said I must do. God, I'm now following your ways and I'm doing your, your ways and I'm following your laws and your judgments and I'm reading the Bible and I'm doing A, B, C and D. But more people are starting to hate me. But God says, keep on holding on for he is the God that created the heavens and the earth. Keep on holding on for God is saying that he is going to take you out of there. Although now it might seem like more work has been added unto you. Although now it might seem like more work and more people are starting to hate upon you. But God says, keep on keeping on for I 
am the God that created the universe. I am the God that created the heavens and the earth. And God says, I am going to take you out from there. And for not because I am a cruel God, but God says, I am a faithful God. I am a God that sticks to his word. And he says, even though they might crucify you, even though people might hate upon you, God says, just keep on walking in my path and my glory shall be seen and my glory shall end up being, being the light. We once talked about the light, the light that shines brighter than any light. When God finally takes you out from there, when God has removed you from there, his glory is going to be seen. And we see this um, as we go on, we realize that the Israelites ended up being taken out of the land of Egypt, which shows that God is a faithful God. Even though Pharaoh hardened his heart, even though Pharaoh was hard up, up upon the Israelites and he put more work upon them, God still took them out of there. And God is saying unto you today, I can take you out of that certain situation. God is saying unto you today, I am the God that sticks by my word. God is saying unto you today, I am the God that created the heavens and the earth. God is saying unto you today, look outside, look how big the heavens are. Look how big the earth is. I am the one who created it. If I could create a grasshopper, if I could create an ant, if I could create a giraffe, if I could create a mosquito, if I could create an elephant, and I still created you as a human being and gave you dominion over all the things and gave you dominion over all the earth. And God says, I have a plan for you. Just keep on keeping on. Just keep on holding on to the promises of God. Just keep on walking the righteous way. Just keep on walking the path that is right. And God shall surely hear you. God shall surely take you out from wherever you are. And in the end, um, the glory of God is going to be shown upon you. And it says, Jesus even says unto us that um, I have overcome the world. He says, in the world, you shall, uh, you shall face trials and tribulations. In the world, uh, you, you, you shall face all kinds of problems. You shall face all kinds of uh, 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 pestilences. You shall face all kinds of troubles and pains and sorrows. But Jesus says, be of good cheer for I have overcome the world and that's the message that i just want to leave with you today that to be of good cheer for jesus himself has overcome the world so therefore we should put our trust in him we should put our trust in him because he has overcome the world therefore if he could do it for someone else he surely can do it for you he surely can do it for you all you have to do is to believe and trust that god is got this under control just like the israelites even though pharaoh thought he was winning even though pharaoh thought by adding more work is now winning even though pharaoh thought he's now is now the king and is now doing uh, uh, uh is now putting uh, uh, more work upon them God still took them out with his mighty hand. And I'm telling you today that the same mighty hand that took the Israelites out of Egypt is the same mighty hand that will take you out from your situation. It's the same mighty hand that you that will take you out from whatever situation you might be. And God says, I am the God, the God of the universe, the God that created everything. All you have to do is just believe in him and trust in him. For it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding. And the, and the Lord of the heavens will do it for you. I promise you this. It is not a lie. These are not my own words that I formed. These are not my own words that are coming from, my, from the top of my head. But God is saying this to you today to keep on holding on to him. Keep on fighting the good faith. Keep on walking in the righteous path. Even though it may seem like doing the other path is easier. But trust me, when God finally takes you out, you are going to rejoice and say, God, you are surely faithful. You are surely a wonderful God. You, God, I, I, I'm so glad I trusted in you. And this is the message that I want to leave with you today. Um, let us pray. Our God in heaven, we thank you for such a wonderful message, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for such a wonderful message, Lord, to keep on holding on to your promises, to hold on to your word, to hold on to the path that you've set for us, Lord, to walk in the righteous path. 
Lord, I pray, Lord, that in everything that we do, sometimes we might be weary, we might fail, we might feel like giving up, Lord, but help us, Lord, to be of good cheer, for you have overcome the world. Lord, help us, Lord, to keep on walking in the right path, to keep on walking, Lord, the path that you've set upon us, Lord. For us, Lord, for us to remember, to trust in you with all our hearts and to lean not to our own understanding. This I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, may you also be with the other person on the other side of the screen, Lord. May you be with them, Lord. You know the situation that they are going through. You know the words that they need to hear, Lord. You know that they need you, Lord, at this hour, Lord. May you reveal yourself unto them, Lord. May you reveal yourself, Lord, just like you did to the Israelites. Do it for them, Lord, as well, so that you may reveal, so that your glory might, might, might be revealed, Lord, so that your glory and your name might be praised, Lord. This I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.